Hi there, I'm Collector B and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a manga haul. So I'm going to be showing you um, the things I picked up recently and explaining a little bit about it. Um, so the first one, we're just going to jump right in. <laughs> the first one is a Silent Voice Collector's Edition um, 1. Um, this one's a, a big one right here and it's really pretty. Um, it has like kind of like an album scrapbook kind of feel to it. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool. Here's the cover. And it's saying that this one has the first half of Silent Voice. Um, and on the back here it says 658 pages of the manga and a volume one of two. So there's gonna be another edition of this one um, coming later on. But otherwise, yeah, it's really cool. So here's the back. Um, yeah, so it's by Kodansha and they really did a good job uh, with the quality here. Um, it really it has like a bit of a matte finish and then a bit of something shinier on there, like something's been spilled over it. And you can see like the water effects um, with the, the shinier finish on there, which is really cool. Um, but otherwise, there's a few colored pages, I think, at the front. Yeah, so um, there's a few colored pages there. And there. Yeah, really pretty. And then it goes off into the rest of the manga but from there. But yeah, really good quality on there say anything else in the back it says it's net there there's never been seen before interviews with the creator Yoshitoki Oima there's some color art gallery and for the first time in English the original 45 page award-winning pilot short story is included in here so yeah so it's definitely something to check out all right so I'm gonna put that here back. all right the next one is a really pretty edition um, it's the hardcover of the girl from the other side and I'm probably not gonna pronounce this right, but by Siluil Arun, maybe. It's a deluxe edition, volume one. Um, yeah, it looks really pretty. I um, like the old fashioned style. And this might actually be the author, maybe, at the bottom, uh, Nagabe, probably, uh, or the artist at least. But anyway, <laughs> there's, uh, I guess, two names on there, but it's the deluxe edition, and it has some really pretty gold foiling on the front. The spine is, is gorgeous. <laughs> it has a, the same um, information as the front and it's by Seven Seas. And on the back, it's just like a cute little gold um, flower detailing. But otherwise, let me see, let me show you the first few pages. So there's some detail here. And yeah, so it says Story and Art by Nagabe. On there, so there's that pretty page, then the table of contents. I color picture there and my first color photo or image yeah um, the art is definitely different but it's really pretty in its own way yeah so there's a few here and there it's really nice but let me read you the summary on this one so it says once upon a time oh it came with this back um, in the plastic packaging like this um, it says, once upon a time in a land far away, there are two kingdoms, the outside where twisted beasts roam that can curse with a touch, and the inside where humans live in safety and peace. The girl and the beast should never have met, but when they do, a quiet fairy tale begins. This is a story of two people, one human, one inhuman, who linger in the hazy twilight that separates night from day. Nagabe's haunting best-selling manga series has captivated critics and general audiences from its debut to its conclusion, inspiring an animated short film and a successful Kickstarter for a feature-length anime, which is coming up pretty soon. Now enjoy the original manga tale in a series of four gorgeous deluxe hardcovers contain containing three manga volumes, each color inserts and exclusive covers from Nagabe that will cast their magic over any bookshelf. So there's going to be three more of these beautiful ones. So yeah, it's really cool. So there's that one. All right, so the next one is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It's Tokyo Revengers, Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Um, so this one has an alternate cover. It contains volumes one and two in there, so it's an omnibus. And so there's that cover there. Fine. And there's the back. So this one has story and art by Ken Wakui. And it says, the collision course with the past, watching the news, Hanagaki Takamichi learns his junior high girlfriend, Tachibana Hinata has died. A sudden shove sends him 12 years into the past to face the Tokyo Manji gang that once made his life hell, which is also responsible for Hinata's death 
in the present. To save Hinata and the change the future, Takamichi must rise to the top of Kanto's most sinister delinquent gang. But things aren't so simple when he befriends the gang's leader, Mikey. What turned Mikey from a petulant child to the leader of the most infamous gang in Tokyo? So this one's also by Seven Seas. Um, I haven't read this one, obviously. It's still in the plastic rack, but I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I've heard great things, so I'm going to dive in pretty soon on this, but I'm yeah, really excited. All right, so it's that one. And I guess with the Barnes & Noble exclusive, it says it includes a bonus poster inside, so that's the difference other than the alternate cover on there. All right. Okay, so the next one's not manga per se, but it is more like a graphic novel, I guess. It is um, Lore Olympus. I have volumes one and volumes two purchased. I don't think volume three is out yet, if I remember right, um, or else I probably would have got it, but um, yeah, as for these two, it's by Rachel Smythe. It's a webtoon. And on here it says number one, webtoon phenomenon. So I heard um, awesome things about this one, and these are really gorgeous hardcovers, just by the looks of it. Um, this is by Del Rey, and let me see here if there's anything. Oh, right. So um, this one is about a scandalous group, sorry, scandalous gossip, while parties in forbidden love witness what the gods do after dark in a stylish and contemporary reimagining of one of mythology's best known stories from creator Rachel Smith, or Smithy. <laughs> Persephone, young goddess of spring, is new to Olympus. Her mother, Demeter, has raised her in the mortal realm, but after Persephone promises to train as a sacred virgin, she's allowed to live in the fast-moving, glamorous world of the gods. When her roommate, Artemis, takes her to a party, her entire life changes. She ends up meeting Hades and feels an immediate spark with the charming yet misunderstood ruler of the underworld. Now, Persephone must navigate the confusing politics and relationships that rule Olympus while also fighting figuring out her own place and her own power. The edition, this edition of Smythe's original Eisner-nominated webcomic, Lore Olympus, features a brand new exclusive short story and brings the Greek pantheon into the modern age in a sharply perceptive and romantic graphic novel. So yeah, so this one is definitely a twist and a different take to the Greek mythology, um, which is interesting in its own right. So um, along with the, the gorgeous art that I, I know they're, they, they have, it, just the story and everything all in, in one is kind of really, really interesting to me. So I wanted to definitely get into this one. So this one's going to be all co all color. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a different style, obviously. But it looks really cool. So definitely excited to get into this one. <laughs> all right. So that's um, volume one. And then volume two has this pretty cover on it. So as far as, um, I know that there's Barnes & Noble exclusive, which have the alternate covers, but I'm a little late to the party on that one, I think. Um, so volume one, I definitely couldn't find anywhere that was a reasonable price. So it's all aftermarket <laughs> at that point. I think they still had some in stock for volume two, at least a while ago. So I figured I'll just go with the regular covers. Um, I actually prefer volume one's regular cover. Uh, I think I might've liked volume two's Barnes & Noble cover better but I'm like I'm just gonna go regular version and make it easier on myself um, but as for this one let's look real quick uh, yeah and it definitely does have some content warnings too um, at least for this one alone it says it regularly deals with themes of physical and mental abuse sexual trauma and toxic relationships some of the interactions in, in this volume may be distressing for some readers please exercise discretion and seek out the support of others if you require so it's really good that they give content warning at the beginning that way you're prepared um, to dive into these. <laughs> All right, so those. The next one I'm really excited for. So I was able to get, um, not all in one, but I got one through three, um, since those have been out of stock for a long while, I got the case, of this, the case study of Vanitas, the three, these three separately. I think Makari on one or two. I think Makari might have, I got a bundle on one, two, and then half price books online, I was able to get three for just a little bit over market, like the regular price, which is fine. And then I got the rest um, either from Amazon or Right Stuff. So, yeah, so all together, I finally at least have everything up to date. Are you okay, Luna? <laughs> She's off camera right there. Yeah, you're okay, huh? Okay, but otherwise, um, yeah, so I'm really excited for this. I've heard 
wonderful things about the case study of Bonnie Toss. So here's um, volume one. Here's that. The artwork looks gorgeous. I've seen just a little bit. I haven't read these yet, but very excited to dive in. Um, so the story on this one is rumors revolving around the book of Bonnie Toss, a clockwork um, grimoire of dubious reputation, draw no way to Paris, what awaits him in the city of flowers, however, is not long hours treading the pavement or rifling through dusty bookshops in search of a tome. Instead, his query comes to him in the arms of a man claiming to be a vampire doctor. Thrust into a conflict that threatens the peace between humans and vampires, will Noe cast in his lot with the curious and slightly unbalanced Vanitas in his quest to save vampire kind. That sounds amazing. Um, all I've heard, like, more depth in depth wise is that volume one might be a little bit confusing because it has a lot going on but that it makes so much more sense with the rest of the volumes and it gets really good so i'm excited for that um let me see the first few pages of this um okay so it looks like there's like a little forward or at least like a blurb from hiromu arakawa the author of full metal alchemist silver spoon and heroic legends she said, Mochizuki-san, you're so cruel. After that first chapter, I have no choice but to read the series to the very end. Wondering how it'll all turn out is driving me insane. It's a little cute cow image. It's super cute. Okay, so that's really good. Um, here's the first, um, the cover page. Really pretty artwork. And the table of contents. And then we have, oh, what does it look like? A few color pages, yeah. So there's that. And... Then memory one, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it just looks so good. And about vampires, <laughs> here's like the first. But yeah, so cool. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, so super excited to get into these. So again, this is volume one. All right. Uh, okay, let's start this way. Flip it over. Here's volume two. This one's a little bit thicker. Two. Flipping it right. Okay, volume three. remembering which way to flip it. Okay, volume five. the current volumes, if I'm rem remembering right. Yeah, there's that. All right, and almost done here. Okay, so the um, next to last volume is Kimi ni Todoke Volume 1. This came back into stock recently, and I know uh, it's <laughs> it might go out of stock soon again, so I definitely wanted to get this one. I've heard um, great things about this one. It's a high school romance where the female lead um, just based off her looks, people are scared and nervous of her. I think comparing her to uh, a horror movie character, I think that from The Grudge or something, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, to horror. Um, and then she meets a boy and then her world changes and she gets friends and learns about life. <laughs> so um, let me read the back to you though and see if I got that right. Um, so it says, Sawa Sawako Kuronuma is the perfect heroine for a horror movie. With striking similarities to a haunting movie, char haunting movie character, jet black hair, sinister smile, and silent demeanor, she's mistakenly called Sadako by those around her. But behind her scary facade is a very misunderstood teenager. Too shy to fit in, all she wants to do is make friends, but when the most popular boy in class befriends her, she's sure to make more than just that. She's about to make some enemies too can love trump a cursed life. So that sounds really cute. So I'm gonna try to keep up with the re-releases of these volumes. That way 
I don't lose out and have to hunt these aftermarket because that's no fun, of course. Um, but let me see here. So I know this is a long one. I think it's 30 volumes, if not a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so here's the first page. Here in the first panel. <laughs> so it just looks super cute. So I'm excited for that. All right, so there's that. Almost done here. Okay, so this one's basically, we can do these last three all in one. So um, for Wodokoi, we have volume six. I got the three alternate covers. Uh, just because it was just too hard to choose which one I liked the most. Um, so we have the BAM, the Books A Million exclusive cover. This one came in a little bit damaged, so I've been putting heavy books on it to flatten it out just because it came like crumpled in half almost. <laughs> and I can still see a bit of a dent here. Um, but otherwise, it's been definitely flattening out, which is great. It's just a little bit wavy on the bottom, but Hey, it could have been worse. I could have been unable to fix it. And of course, because it's an exclusive, it's not easy to just replace and go get another one. So um, it could have been worse and <laughs> this is good enough. But yeah, so this is the final cover, uh, final volume for Wodokoi. They put it into six volumes for the US release. Um, I'm still reading through. I think I'm on volume two or three of this one, but it's a really nice like adult romance between looking at three different couples and their otaku <laughs> lives and how their romance um, revolves around them and their work. But that's the um, BAM edition. And then we have the Barnes & Noble exclusive one. This is the one I initially got, but then I saw the other covers and I couldn't resist <laughs> getting them as well. Um, so this one shows um, them with their formal wear. It's too cute. So yeah, that one's really nice. And I think the heart on this one, yeah, this one's a little bit more of a, a hot pink. Um, it has more of like a, a shiny metallic to it. Yeah, you can get on the side here for that. This one, and I think this one are just a normal pink, yeah. So this, this um, Barnes & Noble exclusive has a bit more just a tiny bit more to it with the gold gold or the pink foiling on it. Um, so that's those two. And then the uh, last of the exclusive versions is the Kino Kuniya one. This one's still plastic wrapped. I haven't taken it out of the wrapping yet. Um, but this one is really cute too. Shows them in their child uh, as children, <laughs> their versions of it. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so happy. And then this one came with a shikishi board, a little one, uh, with like a signature, of course, not like, um, a, you know, an image of the signature on there, but it's just really cute. All three couples on there. So there's that. So that's a nice little extra to get with it, to display. Yeah, awesome. All right, so there's the <laughs> three versions of Wodokoi. All right. So all three, I don't know, which one do you guys prefer? Um, or is it the regular one that you like better? Uh, I don't have that one, but I think I have enough, honestly, with these three. But yeah, so there's, there's the three volumes of the final volume of the Photocoy. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Um, there's my haul for the, the recent weeks here. It, but yeah, I'm super excited to dive into these. Um, probably the most for oof, definitely uh, the case study of Vanitas, the silent voice, and I think even even the other the girl from the other side. I mean, all of them, of course, but I'm gonna see which one I'm gonna feel more in the mood for. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like and comment uh, which one of these would you be the most excited for? <laughs> and then what else have you picked up recently? And let me know. Um, I wanna hear from you guys. So thanks so much for watching. And oh, Luna, are you okay? Yes, mama. She's over here, come here, mama. Yes, I know, I know. You were starting to drift off, huh? Yeah, she's 
He's always my little buddy right there <laughs> on the side watching, huh? Yeah. You okay? Oh, what do you think of the end? What do you think of the manga? You know, which one do you like? Yeah, which one? Oh, the case study of Vanitas, huh? Yes, me too. Anyway, we're gonna get to reading. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Lou. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Thank you.